Welcome back to Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen at Home Edition. My name is Amanda and welcome to my home. Today we are going to make a beer can chicken and I'm going to use a Traeger throne. This is one of those kitchen items that you purchase where you kind of wonder how you lived without it. Uh, we make beer can chicken once a week, even in the winter time. It's something super easy that you can actually throw in the oven. You don't have to cook it on the barbecue. Today we are going to throw it on our Weber grill and I'm gonna go over a spice mix that I like to use um, and how I cook it and how simple it is to cook a beer can chicken using this Traeger throne. So let's see how it's done. Super, super easy. I usually double the recipe. I like to have a lot of rub on mine. So the first ingredient that I'm gonna put in is two tablespoons of brown sugar. And you don't have to put the sugar in, but I find it really helps get that sort of sticky, crispy skin on the chicken. Um, again, you can half it, you could take it out. It's not a necessity, but I really, really like it. It kind of gives it almost that molasses kind of stickiness. The next thing we're gonna put in is two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Again, it can be regular paprika, but I really, really like the smoked paprika. Then we're gonna put in one teaspoon um, sorry, two teaspoons of garlic powder. We're gonna put in one teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of salt, and two teaspoons of pepper. And you're just gonna give it a little mix all together so it's kind of spread out and mixed together. And that's literally it. The prep time for this is super, super easy. Um, that's all there is to it. So next, now that the spice mix is all made, I'm gonna show you how to put it onto the throne. All right, so now we're gonna talk assembly, but before we get to that, I like to take this time after I'm done making the spice mixture just to preheat whatever I'm using um, to cook the chicken in. Right now I have the barbecue on a high, um, but you wanna get it preheated up to 350. Same with the oven or pellet grill. Um, get it up to about 350. Now for me, I like to put it on um, the throne on a pizza pan because it makes it really easy to get it in and out of the barbecue or in and out of the oven. And then if any of the spices fall off, which happens all the time during assembly too, um, it just catches it right on here. And to make cleanup a little bit easier on myself, I do like to put a piece of parchment on. So next, you're just gonna put the throne on here and fill it with some beer. This can be non-alcoholic beer. Partake is really great. They sell it at the LCBO. Today, we're just gonna use whatever we had in the fridge. It really, at the end of the day, doesn't matter what you're using in here. And I like to fill it up to rate right about the neck right here. A um, little bit more in there. And it won't take a full tall can, so the bonus is you get to drink the rest. So now that you have this full, you literally just take your chicken and rest it on the throne like so. And the great thing about this is it's super sturdy. Like as you can see, it's definitely not gonna fall over. Um, next, all that I do is just, I like to coat mine with about a tablespoon of olive oil. It just helps the spices a little bit better to your chicken. Um, I find when I'm putting the spices on, sometimes um, it can fall off a little bit. So make sure it's nice and generously coated. It'll also help to give it that nice crispy skin. And then literally all you're going to do is coat the entire chicken in the rub that you've made. So our chicken is now nicely coated um, in our spices and I'm just going to throw it onto the barbecue uh, based on the size of mine and I will put a chart um, in the recipe for you. Based on the size that we have, we're going to cook it for an, about an hour and 10 minutes.
So this is what the beer can chicken looks like after you take it out of the oven or the barbecue. I like to let mine sit for 10 minutes before I cut into it. It really makes sure that the juices stay inside of the chicken. One thing I'd like to say is that you should check on your chicken, um, especially if you're cooking it on the barbecue, probably every like five or 10 minutes, um, just to make sure one side isn't cooking more than the other or um, that you haven't started to like overcook or flame ups happening, which brings me to what we're gonna talk about on the next episode. We are going to use the Weber thermometer that hooks up to your phone. Um, and I'm gonna show you how that works and how it can keep you from burning, scorching, overcooking your food on the barbecue. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have ideas for upcoming recipes, leave those in the comments below. Thank you so much again for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again soon.